the Babylonian calendar is based on a lunar month. That is, each month begins on the new moon. And if you observe the moon, and I think you should, you will observe that the moon goes through phases. At the beginning of the cycle, it's a very thin crescent. Well, from your point of view, it's this way. Thin crescent right after sunset. And then every subsequent evening, it gets bigger and bigger. And then it appears as a half disk, which is the end of the first quarter. And then on the 14th night of the cycle, it's a full moon. And then the moon reduces and goes into a different phase as it reduces to the third quarter. And then it disappears at what we call the new moon. And it doesn't appear in the sky anymore because it's on the same side as the sun. Now, that cycle is 29 and a half days. The moon cycle is 29 and a half days, but that's not practical. So what you do is you alternate 29-day month, 30-day month, 29-day month, 30-day month. And you go around 12 months like that. So you have 29 days alternating with 30-day months. And you wind up with 354 days. Uh, it's 11 days too short. It's too short for the solar cycle. Now, why is that important? Because the solar cycle is going to tell you when it's going to, when the rains will come. And it will also tell you when you should plant and when you should harvest. So you really need a solar cycle. But you're already fixed on the lunar month. And therefore, your year is going to be 11 days short. So what you do is this. You add a month, and you wind up three days short. So you're back to close to the solar cycle. Then you have another year. By this time, you're 14 days short. Then another one, 25 days short. You add a month in the sixth year, so you're only six days short. Still close. <laughs> then the next year, you have 6 plus 11, that's 17. 11 and 17, 28, you add a month, you're two days ahead. But the solar year has added two days in eight years. One day for every fourth year of the leap year. In eight year cycles, they come out exactly even because the solar cycle adds a day every fourth year. And the lunar cycle comes out two days ahead, which means equal to 28 plus 2. The solar calendar was done also by keeping a record of where the sun casts a shadow on a needle. You see, and once you get that record and you keep it, then you realize that the cycle of the sun is 365 and a quarter days until you realize it's not really. It's 365 days and 5 hours and 50 some minutes. But all of this requires observation, which they did. And they observed that and realized that the solar year is 365 and a quarter days. And they also knew that if you intercalate a month in the third and the sixth and the eighth year, you'll always come out equal to the solar year. So you'll never be too far off agriculturally. And therefore, the lunar solar calendar, it's not a purely lunar calendar. It's a lunar calendar adjusted to the solar cycle, always comes out correct.